सिंपल इंटरेस्ट दैट इज एस आई हु लेंड्स मनी दैट इज कॉल्ड क्रेडिटर हु आर बोरोइंग द मनी दैट इज डेटर अमाउंट बोरोड दैट इज कॉल्ड प्रिंसिपल और कैपिटल दैट इज जनरली डिनोटेड बाई पी दीज आर टर्मिनोलॉजी वी शुड नो नॉट वेरी मच क्रेडिटर डेटर वी नो ऑलरेडी पौनी पौना सो मेनी टर्मिनोलॉजीज आर देर इफ यू विल जस्ट गो थ्रू बैंकिंग लॉ देन यू विल फाइंड फॉर क्रेडिटर एंड डेटर मीन्स बोरोअर एंड लेंडर सो मेनी टर्मिनोलॉजीज आर देर वन ऑफ द टर्मिनोलॉजी पौनी पौना प्रिंसिपल और कैपिटल दैट इज पी टाइम पीरियड दैट इज टाइम फॉर लैंडिंग दैट जनरली विल डिनोटेड बाय एन टाइम फॉर लैंडिंग बोरोइंग और डिपोजिट अमाउंट व्हाट इज अमाउंट अमाउंट जनरली इज कॉल्ड इट इज मेच्योर्ड अमाउंट आफ्टर मींस यू हैव टेक यू हैव डिपोजिटेड सम अमाउंट ऑफ प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट पी एंड यू गॉट सम इंटरेस्ट ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आई अंडर द एस और मे बी सी then combinedly principal amount with interest what you will get the total amount that is called amount simply simply we said it is amount then we can say amount is a just matured money whatever you will get together with your principal amount roi what is rate of interest or return on investment both of things you can say it is r denoted by r r can be either sim under the simple interest or can be under complex interest compound interest then si how will calculate this is very simple it is just a percentage calculation nothing else how we are calculating percentage on 100 rupees 100 into 5% divided by 100 but only thing is here number of here number will be there like number of years will be some time period will be given then you multiply with 10 generally percentage calculation how we are doing just i will tell you 10% of 120 how you are doing 10 into 120 like like way only we are doing same way here we will do calculation same percentage type calculation principal amount into rate of return r divided by 100 and we have to just cal just multiply if it is more than 1 if it is n equal to 1 then it will become meaningless either or multiplying 1 n or n that will be same then p and r by 100 that is simple interest amount will become this is simple interest only not including principal amount means whatever p you have deposited you got p and r by 100 that is your simple interest then total amount you will get a equal to p plus p and r by 100 then just suppose now we will just uh, look same thing in different way n equal to 4 or 5 something will be there then s1 means after one year what will be your interest p r by 100 After two years, your interest will be two into P R by hundred. After four years, four into P R by hundred. If we want to take the consecutive difference in interest, like how much you got the interest in two years and how much you got the interest in one years, S two minus S one that will be equal to P R by hundred. Or we can generalize simple interest in n years minus simple interest in n minus one year. That also will become P R by hundred. Any two consecutive we will take, it will be always P R by hundred. Now, if n one and two we are taking different. Here, what is here? Here we are taking one. What is one? One is multiplied here. That is two minus one. It is two minus one. Here, here also one is multiplied. That is one is n minus n minus one. That will become equal to one. Correct. If we are taking n one and n two different, means interest. After four years, an interest after one year. If we want to want to find S four minus S one, then what will happen? This will become N one minus N two. Like S four minus S one, we want to just four minus one. It will become three into P R by hundred. Okay, just you can see here four into P R by hundred, and P R by hundred just to subtract 